I don't have a garage on my hardcore Mompazul save. That's where I try to improve my friendship rating with Francis, where he can help me build one to store my cars and to have some room to work on them. Hey guys, it's Tries here, let's start our Thursday off where we got a single barrel of that maple syrup ready to be shipped out, and speaking of improving friendship rating, let's bring out a maple syrup can on the go to bring to Francis once we get back from the Federation. And is Francis there? Yep, he's up front on his porch, so let's pull on over and give him the can, talk to him to gain two friendship ratings with him. So we can unlock the garage much faster. So where's my syrup can? It fell after getting into a crash right over here on the other s Come on, man, on the other side of the car. Hey, Francis, take this as a gift again. Aw, oh, come on, ask Gigi. Hey, 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 hey got to the brother. My Americanism in French is showing. Hey, hey, and you're gonna say it again. I thought he was gonna ask Gigi himself, saying, gosh, it's cutting firewood, or the stereotypical, we completed the second floor of the garage for all the room for activities and everything. But instead, he's gonna say, hey, glad to see you, little brother, and that's it. Pretty much said that twice after giving the can to him, and just talk with him to boost his friendship rating to 18. Yes, my 18. So Friday will be at 20, Saturday will be at 22, and Sunday he's not available, so we're gonna be completing this by next Tuesday. To get up to level 25 to complete, not to say complete the garage, but to be able to build a garage for it to be completed within six working days, or just flat out six days. So, it's gonna be quite a hefty video I'm gonna be doing here in terms of me recording this for quite a long time. I'm just getting there in the next couple of weeks of me, one, solo maple syrup and doing other things to keep myself alive in this hardcore save, and two, just get in the garage, all built, and to, well, first get Franch uh, Fr Francis' friendship rating to 25, and to build a garage. So let's sell this here barrel and collect these two and bring them back to the Sugar Shack. And after that, we're at a little over 1,100 hours, so we're back to four figures on this hardcore save. Alright, so it's Thursday night, I am yawning, so let's try out a street race with my semi-stock, rusted-ass Koenig, and nice to see me. And seeing I'm getting low on Nas, I guess go against Luke? And let's talk to your boy Antony, saving up some pink rims, sway bars have been upgraded, and to these two over here. Hey, Tom knows I'm dirty driving my last normal save video. How's everything? It's terrible. And this car breaks something next for Michael, right Mike? Yeah. Alright, let's arm the nitrous. Uh, please arm the nitrous, still on power 3, and let's line up and whoop Luke's ass in an electric 240SX. Two, one, go. Oops. I'm in false starts like it's Need for Speed Pro Street, and go. He's gonna be ahead of me for a little bit, so nitrous in second gear, go. Second gear again. And again. Good, brakes. Stay to the left. And nitrous. Good. Nitrous again. What to stay ahead of him? Well, no, like, stay up to him, but just, like, cut him off so he doesn't pass me whatsoever. Yeah, we're good. 30 seconds, 17,092 milliseconds, and that's my best time after getting 400 hours. Technically, 200 hour bed, so 400 hours in total. And let's probably park up here, rest up, and collect my two barrels at the Federation. Damn, so doing a street race takes me at frickin' 9 o'clock in the morning. And seeing it's a Friday, is Roger... Yes, so I thought Roger is open for Saturday. Same thing for Sunday, once I get paid for my maple syrup barrels. So real quick, let's see what he's got. So Roger, where are we at? $1,300 out of 5000 to unlock the abandoned grocery store, which will be his parts store right here. So he says, how's everything going? Alright, on the abandoned grocery store, need a little bit more to move everything in, complete everything. So where's my nitrous at after doing all that race? So we're at 10%. I guess we should get a refill for $70. Just slap it in there, and it refills the NOS. And we're done. So it appears of our engine, we got the manifold installed, and we got the stock intake from where we first started out. So I'm guessing the individual throttle bodies for the natural aspirate setup is $1,400, and $1,000 for a turbo. I don't even get it. I guess to be fairly consistent, I'll get the individual throt. I'm cheap now. Forty dollars. <laughs> I thought I had more, but shysters. I thought I had more, but never mind, mate.
and see that I wasted over a thousand dollars in a single part thinking I had plenty enough money to cover that and do some other things. Let's grab the spanner and change out the throttle body here, the intake. So we gotta first out, well, first of all, take out this screw for the intake box, the air box on stuff because we don't need that anymore. Especially for this screw too, we don't need that anymore. Once we change out the intake, so you got a total of three screws plus one right here for the intake box, and then you take this bad boy out to expose the intake OEM, and then you slap on the throttle body performance version and put the three screws in there as so. And the extra bolt here, I'm keep saying it's a screw, but the extra bolt, it's up to you. Just install it or just not install it and just throw it up somewhere as to like put up somewhere as for like a spare bolt that you can use. Oh, I also forgot, let's install, I guess, the lip version of the spoiler, see how this goes. Not too bad with the bazooka kind of exhaust right here, so... Let's install the spoiler while we're waiting up in here. So let's use the metal, like the actual non-rusty bolts, and put this on through the trunk on this side, and for the other side on the left to install the spoiler. Now let's get a listen of the new throttle body that I just put in, so let's start it on up. Not too bad, I believe this revs like beyond 8,000 RPM, so we'll give it a quick rev up. I'm wrong, around 7,500 RPM. So, let's head there right now to the Bannon Grocery Store to do some races. Well, specifically one race, because I'm a broke ass for installing that throttle body thinking, like I said before, I had enough money to cover it, but apparently, I barely did. I guess for a street race, it seems we got plenty of energy for tonight. Uh, Koenig, lightweight, a lot of rust. I guess I'll start off with Michael, just as a little heater, excuse me, heater race for my new setup. So, Mike, you like my throttle bodies? You hear this? Nope, my car breaks so many necks, it's so clean. Well, I don't know about my car, you're a wannabe Pontiac Sunfire looking ass, some frickin' thousand dollar cash card that you got at a junkyard or some, probably even less than that, and just tune it up to be. They want to be badass racer. That's pretty much the real reason why Pontiac went bankrupt because, well, blame Bush. So two, one, go. Well, it's not used tonight just because we're wheel spinning. In first gear, an automatic transmission is going to do that. And obviously, we are trailing them, so let's look back while we finish. 17 seconds, 44,629 milliseconds. My brakes are the best as we stop pretty much where the beginning of the bridge is at. Now Luke, 200 hours on the line, now we're down to freaking some broke ass people's change of $58.12. So line her on up and I got the nitrous arm, so two, one, go. Let's see what it's like without nitrous as we wheel spin in first gear yet again is because not only that, I'm also running on winter tires front and back. So kids, if you were doing a street race, probably not the best tabernacle, tabernacle. Hurry up! Hurry up! Wheel spin! Don't. Nitrous all the way. Nitrous all the way again. Nitrous. All the way. All the way, Keef. All the way, Keef. All the way, Keef. All the way, Keef. Come on! Damn it! Yeah, you're a loser, you bitch ass mofo. Thank God for the poll. Don't thank God for the poll. I guess I'll just sleep with the fishes and figure out why I'm a broke ass for being a cocky bastard after crashing into a stop sign thinking I could just cut in and win the race and get 200 hours from him. So it's time myself here. It's about 9.45 in the morning. It's a Saturday too, so hardly anything's going to be open, including my Maple Syrup Federation. That is going to be closed on the weekends, only open Mondays through Fridays. So let's see how long this takes to get the car out of the water here. Luckily, it's not that deep in the water where I have to call a tow truck for a hundred dollars to get that freed out of the water and have it collected by the next day, next working day. Seems like we're making good progress, I guess, next one hour in game. So after that, I'll just talk to Francis, give a can to him, and rest up Sunday and go back to work Monday. And so on. Alright, I'm just heading out right now, so... One hour in game, not that bad. 10.45 a.m.? I guess that's pretty successful and pretty quick to a certain extent as we're redlining. Stop redlining in the sand. Get me on the road. Thank you so much. So after that street race I done... 2400 hours, so we got two stimulus checks. Thanks America, I mean... 
Canada. At least it's better compared to what I had around a hundred dollars and eight a hundred and eight dollars from me losing a bet.org and making the wrong purchases by buying something very expensive and end up broke as soon as I buy something. Oh wait, here's Roger again, but I gotta buy some routine. Just hold on a minute, dude. So where am I at? Twenty-seven hundred hours, so halfway to go, a little over halfway. See now my suspension is pretty janky. I guess let's buy the adjustable coilovers for the front and the back. Well, there's only two of them, so either the front or either the back, so I'm guessing the front. So the A-arms, front and back, I'll probably hold on for this a little bit later. And the sway bars, hmm, probably? Even though I gotta upgrade my tires first of all to really take this into effect, but I guess I'll hold that off for a little bit later. So the, what was it, the... Clover is the ones I bought, so let's try to install these back to the house. The next day. <clears throat> Bitch, please! <laughs> wow. I died of dehydration. Idiot, for just sleeping! I swear. What if I just exit the game and be a total dick and cheese the system? Alright, you see nothing because I cheated. Is there, like, an anti-cheat feature that I'm doing here to not accept my defeat, or no? Alright, I swear is in the chat. I am having a very bad day! I am in no mood! This... today... Yep, this is what happens when you skip throughout the day, not drink, not eat, and half your needs just explode from, like, halfway full in maple syrup needs, and it just explodes to the maximum level, and you end up dying after getting out of bed. Just imagine that. Imagine being, like, kind of thirsty, then suddenly thirsty that you're all of a sudden dead from just waking up from a good night's sleep. So after I died trying to unlock the garage from Francis to have that bill, I ended up dying with a friendship rating of 22 out of 25, seeing that I died from dehydration because I quote-unquote failed to drink maple syrup before going to bed. This is the price I pay after sleeping through the night without drinking anything. Even though the maple syrup needs, as you saw, it shot up from like 55% roughly to its limit, causing my death after waking up. Also, this save I got here is a permadeath save, so there's no recovering after that unfortunate incident. This pretty much demoralizes me from trying out another hardcore run on this game. So anyways, that'll do it with Mamba Zul with hard mode and permadeath enabled. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.